It seems to me like the union movement is is looking for and coming up with some ways to reach out to and help uh, workers who are not necessarily in a union right now and maybe haven't even given it some thought, but by helping them, I guess the idea is you help the whole economy. Or I'm thinking, for example, of fast food workers. Well, let's start with a couple of examples. First of all, uh, at, at the front of every movement to raise the minimum wage has been the labor movement. That doesn't affect most of our members because our members make more than the minimum wage. But that's good for the country because it puts money in workers' pockets. That money creates demand. That demand creates jobs. So one way we do it is by, is by raising the minimum wage. It's by bringing a minimum level of benefits from Social Security to Medicare and Medicaid to health care to every American that's out there. The labor movement was at the front of every single one of those fights. Uh, and if you look at it, what we're doing right now, we're partnering with a, a lot of groups on the outside, progressive groups, to raise the wages uh, of all workers. Uh, the more we raise wages for everybody, uh, the better off uh, we are out there, whether they're union or non-union. And we're doing some pretty creative things. We're partnering with day laborers that are undocumented workers that hire out by the day. You see them standing on a corner somewhere. Uh, they get paid uh, a day's wages sometimes. Sometimes they get cheated out of those wages. We're helping those undocumented workers get what's rightfully theirs so that they're not misclassified and get paid half of what they're rightfully due or they don't have an employer that absconds. Uh, domestic workers that have had a tough time because they're individually in each home, we're bringing them together. Uh, we've partnered with them. They're actually affiliated with the AFL-CIO. Car wash workers uh, on the West Coast uh, that couldn't even be, couldn't get protective gloves to keep the chemicals from burning the skin off of their hands. We've stepped in. Uh, we filed claims for them. We helped them. Uh, they're affiliated with us. Taxi cab drivers uh, in New York City that were pre predominantly immigrant workers were getting cheated out of what they were rightfully due. They're now part of us. We're working with that. So, uh, RJ, we're experimenting with different types of workers to help workers. And, you know, we're at the front uh, of the fight to bring citizenship to 11 million undocumented workers in the United States. Why? Well, there's, there's a couple of reasons for it. One, because it's morally the right thing to do. We as a country are a country of immigrants, and we shouldn't be letting this group of immigrants uh, be mistreated and abused. Second of all, as long as they don't have the same rights as American workers, unscrupulous employers will use them to drive down the wages of every worker out there, union and non-union worker alike. And three, we found them to be a tremendous sense of innovation and hard work. Uh, bringing them into the real economy would be good for the economy. All of those come together so we have a record to be proud of. We're doing more to raise the wages of others uh, than we've ever done before, and we'll continue doing that until every American gets a fair share, gets exactly what they're entitled to, gets paid for overtime, gets paid for all the work that they do, and their standard of living is rising. The other one, of course, you said is uh, fast food workers that are fed up with living under unbearable conditions, hot they, they jerk them around on schedules so they can never plan a life. Uh, they move them in and out, and we're working with them to try to get a living wage. Or Walmart, uh, trying to get a minimum of $25,000 for every Walmart worker out there. If we do that, every worker in this country will benefit.